welcome to NBA Luxury, the most underrated basketball channel on YouTube. Trash talk has always been a part of the game of basketball. And with basketball being a physical sport where you're put on the gauntlet face to face across your opponent, there is ample opportunity for beef to spark out on the court. But sometimes things do get out of hand and players get more angry than usual. So here are seven times trash talk escalated out of control. Starting off at number seven, we have Trey Young. If you're going to start trash talking, you better be ready to back it up because it can flip against you in a second. Atlanta Hawks point guard Trey Young didn't know his limits and the result was him getting humiliated in front of the whole world. Back in 2019, when the Atlanta Hawks were playing the Miami Heat, Trey Young got ahead of himself and thought he had won the game after noticing that there was only one minute left. Trey couldn't hold his tongue and started talking trash. The Heat ended up forcing overtime and with about four minutes left in overtime, Trey Young got dunked on. 17th board, Robinson for Jones Jr. Look out below. Come on, Trey Young. With hair like that, you shouldn't be getting ahead of yourself. Coming in at number six, we have Luka Doncic. Without a doubt, the Suns are one of the best teams in the West. But boy, were they wrong when they thought that they could play with Luka and his Mavericks. Elated after taking a 3-2 commanding lead against the Mavericks in the series, the Suns were talking a lot of trash on social media. But at the end of game five, Luka refused to back down. He stated, everybody acting tough when they up. Luka then went on to win game six and game seven, completely obliterating the Suns defense. At number five, we have Brian Scalabrini, AKA the White Mamba. Playing 11 seasons in the NBA with one championship should earn a player a respectable name. But Brian Scalabrini received a different treatment. People would hate on him frequently, calling him multiple insults, even though he was a professional basketball player in the NBA. Tired of all of the hate, Brian Scalabrini created something called the Salinge in 2013. It was a chance to give basketball fans the chance to beat him one on one. And let's just say Brian Scalabrini took care of business. Coming at number four, we have Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett is known for the insane words that come out of his mouth. So it is to no surprise that he's on this list. But in 2013, his loose mouth almost got him jumped. During a game against the Knicks, Garnett trash talked Melo and it got real personal. In the fourth quarter, Kevin Garnett took trash talking to new heights saying, your wife tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios. And that is when things got real. After the game, Carmelo was waiting for KG beside the Celtics team bus was escalated and security was needed to put out the fire. Damn. Coming in at number three, we have Javaris Crittenton. In this instance, the trash talk actually took place off the court. After playing the Wizards, Javaris was flying back home with his teammates. After refusing to pay up, Javaris got into beef for his teammates. Even when the plane landed, they were still threatening to shoot each other in the knees. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but months later, Javaris pled guilty to the illegal possession of a firearm and was suspended for the rest of the season. It didn't just end there for Javaris, because not only did he get suspended, but he was kicked out of the NBA for good. Coming in at number two, we have Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan are both thought of as NBA legends. Back in 2002, during Jordan's final season in the NBA, he led the Wizards to a one-point win over the Lakers. He wasn't about to end it without engraving his name into Kobe's mind. Kobe took it personally and vowed to get revenge. After a couple of months, when Jordan played the Lakers for the last time, Kobe got revenge and he got it hard, scoring 42 points in the first half alone. Coming in hot at number one, we have Joakim Noah. Talking trash about a team is common, but talking trash about an entire city is taking it to the next level. In the 2010 playoffs, Joakim Noah was taking on LeBron's Cavs, and after losing to Cleveland, it rubbed Joakim the wrong way. Because of this frustration, he started firing shots at the entire city. After this, Noah became the most wanted man in all of Ohio. LeBron wasn't going to let his words go unpunished, so he dropped 40 points on his head. After all was said and done, LeBron made quick work of Akeem Noah and defeated him in only 5 games. With that being said, what do you think of our list? Do you think trash talk is acceptable or should it be shut down? Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss a single one of our videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching.